everyone, we are back and today we are going to show you how we created a shibori style. We say that just simply because it is kind of crinkled up, kind of like tie-dyeing paper um, in a shibori style. So we're going to show you, basically this is the paper that we ended up with. We have used this now in a few projects and so you will see that in some upcoming um, or project videos as well. Um, in here, I'm going to show you a quick view of here it was drawing and then before that was what it's going to end up being. So we'll jump right in. Thanks for watching. Alright, what was that? Is that the emerald? Hmm? What, what you got mixed in there? All these. All these were in. All, all of those in there. there. This right now is scarlet. Okay, that's number one. That's number two. A little too gray, wouldn't you I, say? I don't mind it. Well, it might work with the purple part. Because what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make the bottom different from the top. Then, theoretically, when I squeeze them together, uh -huh. it, it's going to have an interesting reaction in the middle. That's, that's the philosophy. Okay, I, I'm liking that. I mean, I, I'm living with that. Yeah. Okay. So, this one, okay, let's see. because more of the yellow is pulling to the outside. All right, that's it. I can see some of the red is pulling out from the, the black. I don't know if I love that. Take a little bit of the green out. This is why your fingers always look like that. Oh, that's going to have some lovely pull-aparts. Very important process here. I've been known to push it on the floor and stomp on it, but <laughs> probably not 
this is what we are is pushing pushing the liquid into the regions that were not exposed we are still going to have some white when we open this up but we're going to have some really i hope i'm hoping wonderful edges so far. Careful because even though this is really tough paper, it will tear. Okay. Is that not just absolutely wonderful? Marvelous. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're going to help it along a little bit more. That's why I have this wonderful board underneath here, and I've got my paper towels ready to go. Just to grab it up. Not that I'm a neat freak or anything, just, well, whatever. Okay, so I look at this and I'm thinking, okay, so I'm going to do some of this down on the bottom here. And even get it a little bit under there, if I, because it's, it, it doesn't go under there, I just know that from experience. Brush it back a little bit because we're going to do exactly the same thing with that on the top part. Now you understand this is about my what, third or fourth round with this experiment. I, 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 I lost track. It was enough that, yeah, okay, you get the idea. Okay, basically, I'll give it a little rinse. I'm not really too terribly concerned about that. Don't care about that. Then come in with some of our kind of grungy, greeny, browny stuff. And what's really nice is, I, I, see those areas that are getting hit with that now that didn't, the, the, the didn't penetrate down in there? And this really, you're not even going to see this part, but you know, you might, who knows. just want to make sure that I get some color on those torn edges because that's really where the brilliance of tearing this comes in. Look at those. Are those not absolutely, I mean, just had a little bitty. I'm not even going to Mariah will poo-poo me on that one. She'll have to edit that out. Find your filtering. I'm filtering. <laughs> All right, now in the process of doing that, I'm kind of trying to pull this back out. So some of the wrinkles are smoothed out, and it's, it's, it's not so difficult to work with when you actually get it where, you know, you're doing something with it. Now, there might be an easier way to do this if somebody out there, you know, has ideas on this. I'm going, whoop de doo Let me know. My feelings will not be hurt. Alrighty, so basically, I want to make sure it's not souping off on me somewhere, because I'm going to take it away and store it home. I do something else, but I do want to, um, you know, get a camera look at the whole thing. Okay. I was just going along here with one light. My technical crew is falling apart. <laughs> okay, that's everything. And I 
as you can see, as it dries, kind of, I, I just, I'm really loving these little spidery looking hoop-de-doo things there, a little whatnot. Okay, and how, Mariah, tell me again, which sides are the cards going to be on? The, the cards that we put down are going to be on the no pocket side. Correct. So the reason we're turning this over is because I really think as it dries, it's going to a little bit about the board. The board is freezer paper. You can see how nicely it clears up. Um, I love it because it sticks to this. And stays in place while it's drying. And that relieves you of having to iron this. That's a whip. Number one, here at this house, because we don't ever iron anything that we wear, um, the only time we get it out is to do crafting. Um, so, uh, that's a whip. And I just discovered this on accident the other night when I was messing around with just some colors. So, you know, I know it looked like I just really went at this and willy-nilly. It wasn't. I, I, I knew what colors I was going to use because I've tested it out on some other pieces of paper. So, Yeah. Uh, that voice that you hear in the background, well, other than the one over here whining, uh, would be my daughter. She's being sarcastic. Okay, I'm just checking to see how that's going down in there to see if maybe I might need to just add a tad more. Isn't this cool how it kind of goes beep, 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 beep? <laughs> I don't think that's the coolest thing ever. Should be using that big fat brush I've got. Okay, now, that is going to do two things. It's going to darken up this side a little bit, I'm hoping. It's going to go in those cracks and creases, because it didn't really want to go in that one, did it? Uh, right now, I'm just piddling. This is not something that you need to do. You can do or not do. Just kind of emphasizing these accordion pleats because it's kind of like we're doing an accordion journal and it's kind of cool that the folding process here is also an accordion. I think that's going to be lovely. We'll dry a lot lighter. It's one thing you need to keep in mind when you're doing this. But it looks like it might be really dark when you start out and it's lightens up significantly. I love this because it's got the darker has a green tinge to it. The lighter has a the lighter color has sort of a pinkish hue. And I think that's going to look really fabulous with Luisa's papers. Okay. This has been sitting in here a while. I'm going to squeeze it out. Come over and just let it sit in there for a while. The better you press it here, the less ironing you have to do later. It's my motivator. I 
think I've got plenty of the grayish green. I think we need to kind of dispense with a little bit of that. Try this first, and if I am not getting that green to neutralize, I will add a little bit more red to my mix here. And I think you can really see how really invaluable. It takes a little time to make these boards, but you're gonna if you want to do this, it, you're gonna be a lot happier. Okay, I, I'm I'm pretty much good with this. I think there's enough contrast between the two. Some nice little marbling and veining going on there but not overpoweringly so. That being said, take a little Scarlet, give it a one, two, I have learned to at least dip This is, you know, it's not like a big shift in the universe. It's just like a small little tremor in the earth. But you can see here and here. I like this kind of spot down here, so I'm going to leave that alone. And up here, I like those, so I'll just kind of hit the green spots. Yeah, like it. Alrighty, good canoe. Adios. <laughs>